Well, hello there. I thought I'd make a little video of the MX updater. Now, this is the equivalent of um, G GUIs or graphic unit interfaces, <laughs> if you want the technical term, um, that are in, oh, you know, a lot of Linux distros. I'm not all that familiar with anything except for Manjaro and MX. So those are my two comparisons. Um, I've got a third computer on the way that I'm building. And um, I'm not sure. I might, maybe I'll put another um, music you know, I, I'm not sure. I love this uh, MX Linux so much that I might just put it on that other machine and hook them both together somehow, you know. Make this all one big production studio. That's my goal, I, you know, I, as I continue to work on it and learn. Because I have to learn it. I am not a production engineer. Other than my in my own little way, over the years I have managed to produce quite a bit of music um, SoundCloud and uh, Bandcamp I have that site is kind of I haven't really spent much time over there it needs to be kind of cleaned up and looked after I've got a couple of more I've got a bunch of other tunes anyway this video is going to be about um you know, doing uh, uh, the MX updater. So, here we go. Let's shoot over to, let's shoot on over to that updater. And uh, here it is right here. Down here in the bottom, you see the little green box. I think the Manjaro equivalent of that, this is called... Uh, it's not like this. It's 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 just another program kind of. It's called, I think it's called Add and Remove Software, <laughs> and you got to click on it, and then it kind of goes into the repository, and you click on stuff, and then you just hit Apply, and you can watch it kind of go. But it doesn't look like the terminal. This their version of that is more like a hybrid between the terminal and a GUI, a GUI, or a graphical unit interface. So let's click on uh, the little green box, see what we got. All right. Well, we got more headers, so... Wow, this is like the second or third time they've done headers on me just in the last couple of weeks. So this is, they want to put a 65.11-4 in. And over here we have 6511-3. So going to be a little upgrade. And then down here we have the little, you know, here's the headers. And these are actually, you know, the kernels, headers that they all tend to be the same sort of thing but um, and then MX package installer that is not this the package installer installs packages but I believe that's what it's called where like I just said in the other one um, Manjaro, but Manjaro does this kind of stuff too, as well. I mean, updates. So it's got a NVIDIA detection, and uh, so there's not a lot going on there, although this will be a little uh, lengthy. This might take 30 seconds instead of 10 because of, you know, it's going to install these headers. So now let's see down here it says after this operation, there'll be. 535 megabytes of additional disk space used. Yeah, that's pretty good size. That's about a half a gig. Um, I'm already up to 
10% on my computer here. So let's start the upgrade and see, and we can watch it together. So I click on this, uh, and of course it's going to want my credentials. Authenticate, or in Windows it would be Administrator. So this is going to take a little bit of time. And no, but here you go. Not only is it kind of semi doing it automatic for you without you having to go into the terminal and do a little bit of typing, which that really isn't that big of a deal either. I mean, it'd be you'd type something like app git update or something like that, hit enter, and then it would do the same sort of thing. But um, I, I'm getting so used to this, I like it. All right. It's all done. It's downloaded all these headers and the new licorice um, kernel. And it's uh, and see, I can I can go back with a uh, wheel on my mouse and check out what it did if I want to read about it. You know, here's all the little things it did to get uh, the kernels up and running. And there it's looking for, it starts talking about mirrors, but mirrors are nothing more, I, I'm pretty sure, than the antenna that's broadcasting the uh, these signals, you know. I think our mirrors, the mirrors that I use come out of Atlanta, but they change sometimes. It just depends on which ones are working best. And um, so it's also upgraded... Um, I, I don't know if it did snapshot. It's uh, snapshot is the uh, same thing window as Windows. Um, what do they call what does Windows call that thing? Uh, anyway, it's kind of a drastic sounding word. Um, but you know that's really that's it. Uh, um, so besides working in the terminal using the app get, and you can, you're all, we'll, we'll look at the terminal and just touch any button here and we'll get out of this. And we'll just take a look at the terminal being system. And here we have three different kind of terminals. I, I always use the XFCE. To me, it's the easiest. And these are, um, I think these are designed by the Anti-X team that teams up with Manjaro. It's a man, I mean, MX, not Manjaro. MX and um, X, Anti-X. The, the, there are two different separate teams, and they got together, and they started MX. So, anyway, well, I'll just... Get a look. I mean, it's got my studio, my computer name, and hang on, you know, hack me. And there's nothing to hack. I don't have any world secrets in here or anything like that. So, um, you know, let me just see if I, I'll press sudo, sudo app um, get. Date, which is what we just did, I'm pretty sure. And then my credentials again. All right. Well, it actually did a little bit more. It's got the mirrors in there. And, uh, it did Libra Wolf. Anyway, it's done. So, it must not have been too important. So, if I want to get out of this, um, I'm going to just hit up here because if I hit the button for it, um, I'll, I'll be shutting off 
OBS. All right, that's it. So, for anybody thinking about getting into Linux, you know, I'm, all I'm trying to do is show people that it's not that hard to do. And if some old, you know, fart like me that's on the edge of starting to daughter, I would dare say that I've doddered a little bit here and there. Um, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I, I, what made me think about this was watching my wife on her Windows laptop, and she's got a nice um, little HP 17-inch. It's only running an i3, but yeah. Um, but you know, she gets real frustrated with um, is when she wants to use a computer, she'll open it up, and the Windows will go up. Oh, we got an upgrade, we got to do, and then she'll literally this afternoon she just had to get up, blood it, you know, and walk away from the computer for a half an hour. Why it takes so long is beyond me. Although I do. My computers are pretty much hot rods, but uh, anyway, I, th I think I've got her where I want her. I want her to go to um, MX. This is a very adult, very stable system that doesn't give you any crap. Um, she was struggling with Adobe Reader, and I know that they have Adobe Readers in MX Linux. I just don't. I don't use them, so I have them on my Manjaro machine, though. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Linux thing here and say good night to everybody. Until the next time. This is a. Uh, Crazy old man doing Linux. Mm.